friends, a small tree with rumble at me. Just now, I was trying to water the Christmas tree, and I realized how annoying it was, and I started thinking, there's got to be a better way. Check it out. So when you're watering the tree, you gotta get the water into the base, and there's not really anywhere to get your cup. Like, there are branches everywhere. So when you pour, it ends up getting everywhere, and it's kind of a mess. And, not to mention, this is a little cup, so I have to make several trips. I almost feel like I'm in an infomercial. I guess an infomercial would probably look more like this. Do you hate watering Christmas trees? Okay, it's not that bad. So when I was trying to get the water into the tree, I started thinking, there has to be a better way. My first thought was, what if we use the crank slide pump from the Mars crate to pump water from the cup right over here into the tree right there? And it works. Like, watch. When I hook it up, The crank drives the pump back and forth, which moves water from the cup up into the Christmas tree base. But it takes a lot for that to happen, it's kind of loud, and it moves the water kind of slow. And so I started thinking, there's got to be a better way. You know, this is certainly a step forward from pouring the water from the cup into the base. But I bet, since we have this shelf right here, we could use gravity and the siphon effect in order to make it even better. Check it out. With the siphon effect, we see that gravity pulls on water just like it pulls on us. If you jump on a chair, gravity is going to pull you down to the earth. Well, when water is in this cup, it wants to get pulled down to the earth as well. Let's add a little bit of food coloring to our water so that we see it. Add a little more. And then now, if we take our tube, and we draw water into it and hold it at the elevation of this water right here, it's not going to go anywhere. It stays still, but the second we lower it below this level, it's going to flow out into this cup. And it's going to continue flowing out until this cup is completely empty. And you'll see as you lift it up, the water slows down, slows to a drip, stops, starts going the other direction, then we lower it back down, and it starts coming back out. So that's a little bit messy because we have to start things with our mouth. So now you'll see that when we use the pump from our can crusher crate, it'll make things a lot easier. Basically all you have to do is pull back on this syringe and it'll start to draw water out of this cup and start flowing into this cup. And you'll see that it'll go through bends, but keep in mind that every bend and length of tubing that you add, it's going to increase the resistance to flow, which is going to slow it down and maybe even stop it. So you might have to pay attention to that. So now to feed our Christmas tree, we have our big reservoir of water, our pump going down into the Christmas tree base. So now what happens whenever we pull on this syringe right here, the water will be drawn out of this cup into the Christmas tree base, making no mess whatsoever, and all we have to do is start it, and it'll completely fill the base. Check it out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas for projects you would like for us to help you make, just drop a comment below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you'd give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Lastly, if you'd like to join us on our mission to Mars, head on over to rumblelab.com and pick up your challenge crate. We still have a couple of the Mars packs left and we're going to be taking off here shortly. Anyway, happy inventing and have a wonderful Christmas. See ya.